Hey y'all! Welcome from the kitchen! Wait for a few people to jump on here. We'll get started. Had a little camera difficulty. <laughs> got my nice little stand I got from Amazon, but I was trying to get it in view where you could see both cups. And I may have to turn it a little as we get going. When y'all come aboard, please just send me a comment. Let me know you're here. When I get to about 15, I'll start. And hopefully some more will join in with us. All right. I hope y'all are doing good. I'm in the kitchen. We're cooking up some cups. And y'all in South Carolina today, it is hotter than a jalapeno and a habanero put together. I'm sweating. My makeup sweated. My hair is sweated. <sighs> For y'all that live other places, our humidity in South Carolina is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So, I am hot. But we are in the kitchen. We're going to do some cups. We've got 23, so let's get going. I tried to put in view. Hey, everybody. Janessa, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Is it Jaharia? Alyssa? Y'all, welcome. I'm glad you're coming in, okay? What we're going to do tonight, just so I can let everybody know ahead of time. Hey, Ashley. We're going to do two alcohol cups. These cups are really quick to do. Um, we're going to do two different colors. Ronnie, Kristen, y'all welcome aboard. Um, y'all have to pardon my kitchen behind me. And I got post-it notes sitting here for the cups I'm doing for orders. I usually stick them inside my cup to keep myself straight. So, BJ, welcome. Is it Regina, Ashley? All right, baby, we're, we're going to get going. So, I have a 30-ounce built tumbler. Built, you can buy at Walmart. I haven't seen them anywhere else, but somebody said you can get them at like um, Old Hamrick's, uh, just different places. But this is a built tumbler, so it's made just a little different. I was trying to get the whole cup in there. Right here is the rim where my fingernail is. So I couldn't get both cups in the picture. But mm -hmm. as we get going, I'm going to tilt the camera up. You won't be able to see me, but at least you can see what's going on with the cups. Okay, Lisa, Joy, Stephanie. Y'all, welcome, welcome, joy. All right, so we have a 30-ounce built tumbler. I have sanded, prepped, and white base painted this cup. Um, and then behind it, you're going to see a 20-ounce Ozark tumbler. came from Walmart. Um, I, base, I did the same thing. Sanded, prepped, washed, base-coated black. Okay. Um, Jess, welcome aboard. I want to tell y'all something about the 20 ounce tumblers if you haven't already figured it out. The tumblers used to look like this on the bottom, nice and smooth. They were wonderful. <laughs> I don't know what happened or who, what designer decided to uh, change it up a little bit, but for us crafters, it's not a good thing. If you're buying a silver tumbler, it's great because it's got a rubber bottom. But what they have done, and I'm going to show you because I've already taken one apart, I'm going to show you what it looks like. On this, and that would be this cup right here. I'm going to pull it off and show you. Let me get it off without knocking anything over. This is what they look like now. So it's got a little bitty lip. And they have a hard plastic piece. Somehow, like, it looks like E6000 or something attached to it. And then attached to that, they have this little rubber grip. Now, I have tried to do these cups with this attached. You're going to hear my dogs in the background. If you've watched my lives, y'all know they bark at the wind. I don't know what their deal is, but they're going to bark at everything. So, I apologize for the noise, but I just wanted to come on here and help y'all out a little bit. Don and Lillian, welcome. Bonnie, welcome. Amy. All right, so what I have done with this cup is I've heated it up just a little bit. I've taken a little mini screwdriver. I've got this wonderful little tool that I stole from my husband again that he doesn't know about. And when he finds out, he's going to be angry. But anyway, I took this thing and I lifted and pried after I warmed it. Okay? Um, hold on two seconds. Bella, let them outside. They'll stop barking now, won't they? Hmm. All right. So, I got four little dogs. I got four little rescue dogs. Not that y'all really wanted to know that, but that's how loud it gets here. So I have pried this piece off after I heated it. This piece is off. What I'll do, you can do one of two things. If you wind up and save that piece and it doesn't crack on you, you can E6000 it back to it after you're done crafting. 
or I like to build mine up with either glitter or epoxy. It's going to sit flat anyway because this is a flat edge all the way around. It just has a little depression now, okay? Susan, I'm wel um, welcome, everybody. So, I'm going to set this to the side. I just wanted to tell you, if you buy 20-ounce Ozarks, make sure you check the bottom. I'm going to show you, maybe, what a cup looks like. I'm not. If you try to epoxy over it, what happens is, right here, where this sits in, you'll wind up with a little black rim. I don't care how much glitter you put on it. I've tried it, y'all. I just wanted to experiment to see if you could do it over top of it. And you can, but you're going to wind up and see it a little bit. Unless you do a heavy, heavy coat of glitter or double or triple layers, you're going to see it, okay? So make sure you take that bottom off. So I'm going to stick this back on here. I hope everybody's good. Kim, welcome. Sarah, Tina, glad y'all are joining us. All right, so this is what I had. So we've got our tumblers prepped and ready. I'm going to show you what we're going to be using, and then we'll go ahead and get started, okay? For this cup, the customer wants a pink and silver cup with a little bit of pearl to it. So I chose a lighter base cup just so that the colors will show up a little bit more vibrant, okay? All right, so what I've got here is a pinata magenta, and I'll post these all at the end at the top of the page so you can see them, okay? I've got a medium magenta. Now, this is by Bria Reese. I wanted to just show you the difference in the vibrant colors in different brands so you can kind of see them. You don't have to pick one over the, over the other. Shanika and Brittany, I'm glad you're joining us. You too, Diane. I'm going to use some different things on these cups so you can see the different alcohol inks so you don't think I'm a preference to just one or the other, okay? I also have a Bria Reese pink alcohol ink. And then I have a pinata silver. Now remember, silver is a metallic. So as we get going, I'm going to talk to you about the metallics, okay? Pearl is also a metallic. I'm going to use that one. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Avis. Y'all welcome. Now listen, a lot of people have sent me messages asking about mixatives, okay? Mixatives are basically a metallic ink that you use to bring out metallicness to regular colored inks. So let's say you don't have a silver or you don't have a pearl, but you've got a white and you've got a silver mixative. The silver mixative will give you that metallic look. So we're going to drop a few drops on here tonight so you can see what the mixative is and what it does, okay? Because I'm going to kind of experiment with a few of the inks for y'all. I already know what they're going to do, but I want y'all to see the difference in some of the inks that are out there, okay? So we've talked about what we're going to do on that cup. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're going to use on the other cup. And the only reason I'm doing that is because once I mix my epoxy, your time kind of runs out. So I want to make sure you got everything that you need. Daniela, Shauna, I'm glad y'all are here. Dietra, Brandy, um, how do you prevent the emblems towards the bottom from being visible? Just add it. All I can suggest, if you're not going to take them off, is make sure you get enough glitter or something to mm -hmm. cover them. If you're going to do an alcohol ink cup, you better take it off because it's going to show and it's going to be under your epoxy. So I would suggest if you're going to do that, only do it with a glitter cup and hope that you can cover it all, okay? All right, so on this cup, the customer wanted a black and gold. It's going to be for a man. Um, so what I, and you're going to have to pardon my bottles, y'all. Something exploded in my ink bag because I'm working on getting my craft room ready. But this is a pinata black. And then you can't read it, but it's a pinata gold. Okay, now gold again is, is a metallic. So we're going to be real careful with the metallics, okay? Kimberly, welcome. I'm from Michigan, or was born in Michigan. Just see, I think I've told y'all that in the past. So, all right. So, what we're going to do as far as epoxy, um, I have several kinds here. And again, I have sat down and didn't bring over my ALE or my KS resin. But I've got a bottle of counterculture medium viscosity. I'm not going to use fast set on this cup only because I'm doing two at the same time. And want to be able to play with the inks and show y'all a few things. If you're curious about the fast set and you're new to tumblers, I don't quite suggest fast set quite yet because you only have a working time of about 15 minutes. Sometimes 10 depending on the temperature in your house. 
So just make sure that if you're using um, Countercultures Fast Set, which looks, I bought a big bottle, but if it, it looks like this, you only have a short amount of time, of working time with these, okay? I'm going to use counterculture. Don't think because i got two countercultures, that's all I use, okay? I've got KS Resin here. I've got a little extra, which they call ALE. Sometimes you'll see it abbreviated, okay? I've got Amazing Clear Cast here. A lot of people are starting out using this. I actually love this product. Um, I love all the products, really. The only one I have found personally, personally, that I haven't had much luck with was the Pro Marine because it's very temperature. Ooh, y'all fail almost. Ooh, 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 let me put you back up here. There you go. Um, the Pro Marine is very temperature sensitive. So if you're not careful, if your house, my house is 58 degrees right now. And a few of y'all on here probably know that already, but it's cold. So I, I don't like the Pro Marine, but that's personal. So counterculture, and this is a medium viscosity. I'll put it in the top in the comments when we're done, okay? There is a part A and a part B, so you have to mix it like any other. 50, whatever you're going to mix of this and 50 of this. Don't do 54 and 50 because you're going to wind up with a sticky cup in about 8 hours, okay? Or 6 hours or 12 mm -hmm. hours I've even seen. Sometimes they'll still be sticky, okay? All right. Let's see. I was talking about the new brand marker. What's the bottom of the Ozark? Oh, the metal emblem that you see on most of these cups. Once you put your alcohol inks and your epoxy on it, you really, it's not too visible. Some people have told me they tried to sand them down. I'm not about trying to sand them down. I usually use the Ozark Trails for just glitter cups, but if somebody specially requests that type of cup, that's what I give them. I use a lot of um, hog cups. So, if they specifically tell me they want this cup, I tell them the emblem may show or it may not. And they're aware of that. But the hog cups don't. So, just keep that in mind. You might want to just mention it to your customer. And just say, um, the cup, if you're wanting a 20 ounce regular cup, the, the ones I use are from Ozark. And that's what I would just tell them. And it may or may not show, okay? Alright, so we're going to get going. I'm going to show y'all the black cup. Where we told you about the colors. But listen, I got a special surprise. This lady wants a little bit of glitter. And y'all know how I feel about glitter. Y'all don't want to know how much glitter I got in my house because it rains glitter here. My dogs are covered in it. I'm covered in it. My grandbabies that's here is covered in it, Miss Bella. She's got glitter all over her. And me and my husband has glitter on him. But we're going to use this little trick I showed y'all on Galaxy Tumblers, okay? It's called Recollections Embossing Powder. It's actually used for stamping. Um... I ran out of glitter right when the COVID hit. I didn't run out of glitter. I ran out of a certain color glitter. I'm sorry I keep looking behind me. I think somebody's sneaking up on me. And my husband doesn't know I went live with y'all. But um, this Recollections embossing powder has glitter to it. But it does something magical when you mix it with epoxy. Okay? So I'm going to show you that on the pink cup. Alright? Okay. So we're going to get started. We're going to mix some epoxy. And again, I'm using counterculture. I do this pretty quickly. I'm going to mix way too much for these cups. So y'all don't have to sit here and watch me mix epoxy later and wonder what in the world, you know, why I didn't mix enough the first time. I hope everybody's been doing good. Like I said, it's been hot in South Carolina today. I know y'all don't want to hear about the weather, but I know you don't want to sit here and just watch me pour epoxy. So um, I believe it's as hot as a... Jalapena and a habanero put together is what I told somebody and I wanted Mexican tonight for dinner But didn't have anybody want to go eat with me. So there you go <laughs> Let's see do you find that the epoxy vapors change or tarnish your jewelry over time? They have not but I do have spray paint on some of my jewelry So I've had to kind of keep an eye on them and clean them, but I never take my jewelry off it's just a problem I have, I guess. I just keep it on all the time. But I haven't found any problems. Some people are going to ask about fumes from the epoxy. Um, different epoxies do have fumes. Um, I've told people before, I operate with one lung. Or actually one and a half lungs. I'd be lying to you if I told you I had one. But um, the only thing I have problem with as far as tumblers in this craft is the acetone when you strip. So it doesn't seem to bother me, but other people are much more sensitive, okay? Alright, so we've got our measurements out perfect. They're 
I'm going to put them in this cup and get them mixed up. Now, counterculture, just so you know, if you do use the product, and I'll tell you about a few of the others as I'm mixing because it doesn't take long to mix this, okay? Counterculture is a super kind of thin epoxy compared to Amazing Clear Cast. It spreads really nicely. The bubbles seem to pop on their own. You can use minimal heat, okay? Um, it, they, they seem to work. It seems to work really well. I've actually enjoyed using the product. Amazing Clear Cast is a little thicker of an epoxy. Has just a touch of an odor, but not too bad. It's very easy to work with if you're a newbie and just coming on board because you get to spread that and um, really kind of get a feel for it. It's not too thin. It, it covers very nicely, okay? You do have to use a heat gun to pop some of the bubbles, okay? Um, ALE and KS Resin are both wonderful products. They are on our preferred vendors list. You can look at those at the top of the webpage for Tumblers or Us. Mm -hmm. And you can see who our preferred vendors are. Okay. Um, but they're all really great products, y'all. There's nothing that I would prefer over one over the other. Some people are diehard resin fans. If I use this resin, that's what I'm going to use. But I like to experiment a little bit and just see what I can find. Okay. All right. Shannon, I'm seeing y'all are coming on board. Alexis, Diane, Madeline. All right. So I just want to say hey to everybody. So here's our epoxy. Mm -hmm. I just put mm -hmm. it in a Dixie cup or I'll put it in a clear cup if I have them, but um, I don't know where all my clear cups are. So when you do these wax cups, be really careful not to scrape the sides, okay? You just want to stir the epoxy and gently go around the sides, okay? I just want to remind people of that. You can get wax fragments in your epoxy if you're not careful. So keep that in mind if you're starting out new, okay? <clears throat> I mixed my epoxy up. <laughs> Sorry, my husband peeked in on me. I mix my epoxy up pretty fast because I can go back and I can get rid of the bubbles on their own. And also the heat gum will get rid of the bubbles, okay? To me, so far, counterculture, um, I'm not sure who that was that asked that question. Let me see, Melanie. So far, for me, counterculture smells like peanut butter. ALE is very gentle on the nose. It's very gentle. Um... So, and KS Resin is not bad. Amazing Clear Cast does have a little odor to it to me. But, um, but they're all great products. That's what's so hard. Some people wear a mask and some people don't. Okay, I'm not going to tell you to or not to because that's a personal preference with your health. I stir my epoxy pretty fast. There are turners out there that you can buy that will stir your epoxy for you really slow. If you do create a lot of bubbles and your house is cold... You can put your epoxy in a warm bath of water, like a bowl, and just let it float and get it warm so it spreads easier. I don't do it with the counterculture because it's already pretty thin. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the bubbles kind of pop on their own, okay? So we're going to get going mixing. i got to put on, y'all, I ran out of extra large gloves. I am not a small woman. I am six foot tall. and I weigh exactly what I'm supposed to weigh if I was seven foot tall. So that's all I'm going to say about that. So I am... Overweight for my height, <laughs> unless I'm about seven foot tall. About seven foot tall, I'm perfect. So I'm gonna put on these little bitty gloves. I ran out of my big gloves, so y'all bear with me. I'm gonna put on two because y'all, the nail salons opened in South Carolina. I went and had my nails done the other day, and I was so freaking excited, and I didn't know how to operate with them, and I already broke one. So I'm putting on two pair of gloves because my husband said that if I ruin them, he's gonna be really mad. So I'm gonna put them on for him. Now, remember the embossing powder I talked about? I put it in a little cup. That's about all I've put in there, okay? What I'm going to do before I do anything is I'm going to go ahead and give this cup maybe about a third of a cup of epoxy. That's more like a half, but we're going to give it some epoxy. I'm going to go ahead and stir it up and set it to the side so it's ready for me later. That's so that you don't use up all your epoxy and then you have to mix more epoxy to make your glitter mix, okay? So that's all I'm doing. I'm just getting it ready for us for in a little bit. All right. And again, I'll list all the things that we're using at the top when the video's over, okay? All right. I don't smell anything. I know, so it doesn't really smell that much, but um, when I first started using it, it kind of smelled like peanut butter to me. You can do epoxy any way you want. If you want to do it up and down, up and down, or you want to do a small spot, or you want to do it with your finger and put a lot on it and rub it in, you can do it any way you want. 
Now this Turner that I'm using is one that I bought. I just recently bought. And I am not crazy about this Turner. Um, it works perfectly. It's very quiet, but it does not hold my cups well. So you're going to see it move a little bit as I apply epoxy to this cup. So I apologize. Um, it doesn't fall off, but I just, I'm not crazy about it. My husband built my other two, which have reversible motors, which I bought off of Amazon. And they're amazing. So if I get something too hot, I can reverse it and kind of slow the speed of my alcohol inks. If I get it, you ever seen it run too much and you start getting those long lines in it and it just doesn't look pretty anymore? Um, I can reverse it on my turners that he built. And you can buy the motors off of Amazon and a little bit of wood and you're covered. So all I'm doing is making sure that looks good. I'm going to put some on the bottom with my finger. Don't neglect your bottoms or your cups, okay? Your customers, sometimes they drink out of a straw and sometimes they turn them up. But if you're charging for a cup, go ahead and do the whole cup. If you tape your bottom, you're not going to have to worry about this part, okay? Some people tape the tops and the bottoms. Um, and I think they look beautiful just like that. I started out doing that because I didn't know what to do with them. Like, they're just there. And you're like, how in the world do you decorate? How do you get glitter on the bottom of them? And over time and play, and y'all know I love to play. I'll play with cups all day long just so I can teach somebody something new. I'm going to put epoxy on this back cup. And when we get to it, I'll raise the camera up so you can join me on it too, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and get it ready. All we're doing is spreading. You can do this in sections. You can do it however you want, okay? All I'm doing is getting the cups covered so we can get to playing. Playing. And y'all remember, I'm a little bit crazy. Some people do not like my personality, and that's just fine. But I'm just a little crazy. So I'm, if I'm talking too fast, or if I'm doing something that you're you're confused about, y'all just chime in and let me know. I'm trying to read the comments as I'm doing all this, so I don't miss anything. Okay? Yes, this looks like a lot of epoxy if somebody mentions that. But with alcohol inks, I like to have just a touch more epoxy than I should. Because if you've done alcohol ink cups already, has anybody ever gotten a dry spot on their cup where the alcohol ink won't stick or turns into what looks similar to a fish eye? I don't like those. It drives me bananas. Um, so I have found a lot more epoxy to start is better because it's going to drip off if it's too much. And when I say a lot, I'm talking about for a 20 ounce, I might do 15 mLs for an alcohol ink, which is a lot if you're doing a glitter cup, okay? If you're doing a glitter cup, please do not use that much epoxy. The more glit, the more epoxy you use, the more glitter you're going to have to use. I see some spots on this cup that didn't take the epoxy, so I'm just going back and making sure we're covered before we get started. And we're going to have a spot that doesn't turn out right, I hope. Because I want y'all to see, one, I'm not perfect, but two, if you have a problem with your cup as you're going, sometimes you can go back and fix these as we're doing it, okay? So don't give up, okay? If you do something, don't give up on it, all right? So this looks like it's pretty well covered. My bottoms are covered. I'm going to take my gloves off. I may put one glove back on just to work with the inks because y'all know they stain. And you'll have ink. You'll be wearing ink for a while. I'm going to set this epoxy to the side. Um, typically, when I have any leftover epoxy, if y'all haven't started doing molds, molds are awesome. I made some molds the other day of a starfish for the kids. Um, made a, what is this one? I don't even know what I've got. i got turtles over here and fish and everything else. But just something for the kids to play with when they're tinkering or whatever. But I usually use my epoxy for that. But I'm also going to tell you this epoxy gets warm. Y'all know that's the chemical reaction with epoxy. So you know that it's getting ready to set. So I'm going to sit over here because I kind of watch my cup a little bit. Add a little bit of heat to pop my bubbles. Counterculture kind of pops on its own. But I do like to get started with the inks. I don't want y'all to sit here and watch me have this spin. I'm going to tell you two things. Mm -hmm. I may see a spot or two that you'll see me rub with my finger just because it drives me crazy to put another glove on. I want to tell you something about alcohol inks. Somebody was telling me that they wanted to do a cup and have their alcohol inks kind of stay in their lane. 
stay in their spot, not move too much, okay? I missed some comments. Hey, y'all. I backed up to check somebody, and I missed some few. So I'm going to scroll back through here. All right. If you want your alcohol inks to not blend, kind of like we did in the Galaxy tutorial, what you want to do is let this epoxy spin for about 15 minutes or so, depending on the temperature in your house, 15, 20 minutes, okay? Let it get a little thicker, do its chemical reaction, start getting warm, then apply your inks. And then maybe a bump of heat, but not a lot. The way we get the runs is we do it, the runs, that sounds awesome. Um, the way we get the runs with alcohol ink the way I'm doing these two cups is I want to put it on as soon as I can kind of get ready to, as soon as I can, and then I want to apply the heat to get the swirl that I want, okay? So just keep that in mind. If you want it to stay in its lane like you want to do pink up here and orange and blue and green, wait for it to set up a little bit and then apply your inks. Kind of like when you're doing acrylic paints mixed in your epoxy, you just kind of want to let it set up just a little bit okay so we're gonna get started for some reason everybody knows if you watch me I start out with dark colors I think because it's just an OCD thing doesn't mean you have to I shake everything even though you don't have to <laughs> it's just something else I do okay I'm quirky that way so I'm gonna drop some pink on here now this is magenta this is a pinata ink this cup is gonna be all pink and silver I'm trying to drop some drops to y'all. But as we go, now remember, my epoxy is a little warm too, which is what I wanted. I'm going to drop a couple drops on the bottom, which you cannot see, unfortunately, because I'm trying to get both of these in view. Okay? So I got the pink on, or the magenta. Now I've got a light pink by Bria Reese. We're going to put that on there. I like to drop my drops somewhere in between or at the tail end of my other alcohol ink to kind of pull the colors together. Now, for some reason, this looks more like a coral to me, but it does say pink. It does say rose. So I'm going to go with it. Can't fix it now. But to me, I don't know if it does to y'all, it looks kind of orangey corally, but it says pink. So we're going to go with it, okay? So that's about all of this. <clears throat> Too much ink will make your, make your cup look muddy, okay? You don't want to kill your cup with a lot of color. Because if you put too much, your cup will look real muddy when you get done. It blends too much together. Now, this is a Bria Reese medium magenta. Kind of like the magenta that's real bright pink. I'm going to see if it's any different color. I just wanted y'all to get a feel for what some of the different inks look like. That's actually maybe a shade off from what we're using. So, I'm going to use a few more drops. Just to bring in some pinks. It's a little different shade. Not much different, but a little darker. Anything where you can get some color variation would be great. Okay. Now, this is where... There y'all went again. Y'all, I got to stand, I promise. I must be bumping the table with my legs. Now y'all can see the bottom of the cup. <laughs> that one color does look orange, doesn't it? Y'all are bouncing all over the place. Okay. We're going to do some... I'm going to put another drop of something right here. I got a big gap right here I don't like. Right there and right there. All right. And I may put another drop of pink. Just kind of look at your cup. You want to have some gaps like that, guys. It's going to look like a big fat Dalmatian, okay? I'm going to put some pearl. Now, pearl's a metallic, okay? So I'm going to shake up the pearl because I want to get all that metallic just stuck to the bottom of the bottle in my thing. You'll start hearing the little ball rattle when it starts really mixing because my ball was stuck in my silver. I can hear it. So I'm mixing it up really good. So we're going to do blue, um, pearl and silver. I'm going to shake them at the same time. This is the most exercise I've had in a while. I'm just kidding. Anyway, I've got grandkids. I've had grandkids every day for like two weeks. And poor Miss Bella, she's been here for about a week now. She's having her ball. So, um, mixing these up. Now, remember, on top of doing that, we're going to do a little drop of mixative or two. I want y'all to see what the mixative looks like, okay? Mixative is basically to take any of these colors and make them look metallic. Now, y'all look. I've got three metallics going on here. 
You don't want to kill this cup with metallics. If you do, it's going to take over the cup. Okay? So, pearl, I'm going to be a little, a few more drops than I would silver. I'm going to put the pearl in my white spots. And you'll see it as it comes around. It's a beautiful ink. If you have not used pearl, it's like a shimmer white. It is gorgeous. I'm addicted. I love me some pearl. I don't know why it just changes things for me. Love using this on beach tumblers. Okay, I hope you can see that. That glare may be too much. Let's see if I can get it down a little bit and see if the shimmer comes out a little better for you. My ball's stuck. Hold on a second. My ball got stuck in the cap. Okay, you'll have that sometimes. But if you can see this, it's starting to pull through the colors. And it's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to put a drop on the bottom because I want to make it beautiful too. Remember, love on the bottom of your cups, okay? Customers appreciate that. We're going to do a few drops of silver and a few drops of mixative so you can see the difference. It's really not much difference, but mixative makes the colors on the cup become metallic. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to put a little silver here. And remember, not much of this. The silver takes over. I may not have put this on a cup for for me because these colors are beautiful as they are, but this customer specifically requested silver. So you have to give the customers what they want, guys. You can't just take it upon yourself to change up their order. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. On the bottom of the cup, I'm adding one drop. If you put more than one drop on the bottom, you're going to wind up with a totally silver cup. Now look how much the silver is spreading, guys. See if I can turn you away again. I'm trying to give y'all not so much glare. That silver is going to take over when I hit it with heat. I'm going to do two drops of mixative. I'm going to put it right here. Well, two drops went by together. And that will happen. I'm going to put one here. I'll put one more right here in that bald spot. Okay? So you can kind of see. See how this silver is just taking over? It's just absorbing in this cup. Now look. We're going to hit it with heat. Metallics don't like heat. They like it, but not a lot. It'll burn it, okay? So give it, you want to get it rolling and get the gun off the metallics. So as soon as I start getting a run, I'm going to tell you, I've got a run, and then I'm going to move down the cup. I start with the first third of my cup. I work back and forth until I start getting the run that I want from the colors. And once it starts running, I move to the next third of the cup, okay? kind of works well for me. You can do this any way you want. When I get a good run, I'll tell you that I'm, I've am i got it and we're going to move to the next section. So, But if you give it too much heat, it's going to start to dry out. And that's where you get those dry fisheye looking bumps. Okay? See how this silver is completely taken over? I'm trying to get it to move throughout and spin without getting it too hot. Okay, silver is, is a, it can be, um, it can be your best friend or it can be the devil, okay? So I've got that moving. There's a lot of silver there, but I need to let it cool down. So I'm going to move down here and then we're going to go back and fix a few spots with the pink because I'm not already liking how much silver is in here. So we're going to fix it, okay guys? Don't give up on me. I just don't want to scorch it. You can scorch metallics. And when you do, you'll know it because they dry out really fast. And then it's like nothing will stick to it. I'm going to show you right here. See where I've gotten this a little hot and there's no color kind of trying to stick to it? you got to be really careful. And like I said, you don't know unless you play. So I'm playing. If this cup turns out and I don't like it the way it looks, I won't give it to a customer. I'll tell them I need an extra day that I had a little issue, and I will strip it in a heartbeat, y'all. It cost about a dollar to strip a cup, and I'll strip the cup just to make sure that my customer is happy. Can't see the top. If I bring you to the top, you're not going to be able to see the bottom. I'm going to try and bump you up to the top a little. Sorry, guys, for my finger in the, in the camera. Okay. That's going to be about the whole cup, because I want you to be able to see this other cup behind it when we do it. So, I've got this spinning, but I'm telling y'all, the silver has taken over. 
I'm going to hit the bottom with some heat so I can get some roll on it. You're going to see some of it drip maybe, but I want to I want to hit this thing real quick with some more pink. See how it's just, the silver is completely absorbed. And I don't know how to make the glare any better, guys. Is the camera real bad? Um, I'm going to do some more pink. I'm not crazy about all the silver. And I'm hoping that I don't have it too hot. We'll know in a minute. Okay? I'm going to run it through mm -hmm. the silver. If you ever put your alcohol inks on and they look like they dry instantly, it's probably because you got it too warm to put alcohol inks on. Okay? So all I'm doing, I do this towards me so I can kind of see how much pink is being taken into the cup. And I want more pink than I do silver because that's what she wanted was pink and silver. But do you see how this silver has taken this cup over? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Silver, you can't put but a few drops on this. The mixative has actually turned some of the pink silver. So, honestly, on this cup, maybe about four or five drops total would have been perfect. But we're going to get it spinning again and see what we can get it to look like. I'm going to add some more pink there. See if I can get this silver to swirl a little better. Okay. Hope you're not dropping off. This silver has completely taken mm -hmm. over this cup. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to look at the comments while we're doing this. Okay. Good place to get inks. You can get inks on most of the craft sites. I know everybody has pretty much added it to their stuff right now. I have found them on Micamania um, for you.com. I have found them on Counterculture. I have found them on uh, a lot of glitter sites are carrying them now. This swirl is looking a little better. I don't mean to cut you off, but it's the silver is kind of dissipating a little bit. Okay, I'm going to let it cool off a minute. I've got a ton of silver right here. As it comes around a ton no I don't know what to do about that right there it went so I'm gonna let it sit and cool off I'm not gonna add anything to it okay it's a lot of silver I'm just gonna be honest with you but that's what I'm saying mixative and silver are basically the same thing so if you use that you'll know okay let's see silver and gold are very strong you're exactly right I wanted to go ahead and put a good bit on this. I didn't want to put that much, but like I said, if I have to strip it, I have to strip it. I've got it a little warm because you can see it's still running. When it cools off a little bit, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of pink and pearl to kind of break this up a little bit, okay? But it needs to cool. So I'm not sure. I'm getting a lot of loves. Who, who is loving on me? <laughs> not sure who that is. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the black and gold cup. I'm going to raise y'all up in the air. You're not going to be able to see me very well, but that's going to be fine. You're not here to look at me. You're here to look at cups, right? So I'm going to raise you up. Y'all got to bear with me a minute. Let me get you situated. Sorry for the tilting and everything else, but I want you to be able to see, okay? Okay, let's see if we can stay in view when I let go of it. I apologize, guys. I can slide this back some. That's going to be too close, ain't it? That's about perfect, but I got to get it to stay. Okay. So, you can kind of see both these cups pretty well. Bring it up on top a little more. This is fun, isn't it? It's like being on a roller coaster ride. I know. I apologize, guys. But I want you to be able to see the gold. I'll go back and move the camera when I get done with this one. So you can kind of see. Um, I can look at your comments. Okay. So I apologize for all the camera moving. I haven't quite figured out how to angle this thing. Where you can see um, me and the cups a lot. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to hit this cup with some more heat. This black one. I want to get it ready to take some alcohol inks. Now, we already see the disaster that's occurred with the pink. And actually, there's just a few bubbles on the surface that this heat gun's popping. They've already come to the surface. But um, I'm just going to warm up my epoxy. 
If you ever try to drop alcohol inks on a cold cup, they're not going to move that great. So I just want to go ahead and give you all that information, okay? I'm going to shake up the black. Even though this cup is black, I'm still adding black ink. Now somebody asked me why I do that. Because you need something to mix with the gold, okay? If you just drop gold on this, and you don't, oh, you don't have any black drops on it, it's going to be just gold squirrels, and you'll have your black paint under it, okay? I made a mess on that one. All right. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to drop some on my bottom. And remember, this is a concave bottom. We're not going to do as much gold, guys. The gold on the silver took over on this one. And I still need to add some more pink. And I'm going to do a few drops of gold. And we're going to get the swirl on this one. And then we're going to go back and play with this one a little bit. Before I lose everybody. I think I've already lost a few people. Don't think that all my cups turn out wonderfully, amazingly bad. <laughs> it happens. So here comes our gold. We're going to do a couple drops. Remember, it takes over. So we're not doing much. One on the bottom. We're going to see what that looks like. And maybe one right here. One right there. That's it. We're going to see what this looks like. If I need to, I can drop more. Do you see it spreading on its own already? Okay. This cup was a little warmer getting started, so it shouldn't take long to get a run. I'm so glad y'all have come on board. I know that these are simple cups, and like I said, this pink one is a little bit of a hot mess. The silver took over, but we're going to try and fix it. Because remember, we're still going to add some glitter, okay? This one, I think, is going to turn out much better. Because I didn't get crazy with the, the gold. But this is for a man. And they wanted black and gold. But he wanted it kind of scattered throughout the cup. He didn't want it real heavy. He didn't want a lot of shimmer. I mean a lot of sparkle. But of course alcohol inks and gold are very, very pretty. Um, they give you that little bit of shimmer. Kind of like a Harley cup. Or a motorcycle rider might like. Um, but not too much that it looks feminine. Okay, get this hot and get it spinning. I hope this is a good view for y'all. I know you don't get to see me. I'll tilt it back in a minute. We'll look at some of your comments. But I want to get this kind of rotating some. So I don't get a cluster like I did with the silver cup. If you want more to go down, you can kind of angle your heat gun and push it. Okay. Just remember, don't get your metallics too hot. I've got a big gap right here I'm going to fix in a minute. I'm going to try and fix it with some of this and get that running. Okay. I might, I don't want to even put a drop. Y'all, if I put a drop on this, it's going to take over. So what I'm going to do is just warm it a second more and let it spin. Believe it or not, this is really truly going to be enough my turner is reversible i can reverse it back this way and get more coverage i have the heat gun off of it right now i just want to see what it's going to do it's a lot of black right here but i kind of like it if i add any more gold to this it's going to completely take over i actually love this one this one is another story it's another story so we're going to add a little bit more pink Remember, you can't put too much ink on these. If you put too much ink on these, it's going to destroy it. So, if it turns out that this one is destroyed already from the silver, I'll strip it and start again. And I know some of y'all are going, well, that's just a waste. But you know what? I don't want to give a customer a cup that isn't what they asked for. So, right now, I'm dropping some pink and all that silver. The silver is probably going to eat it up again. And by eating it up, what I mean is... Silver is heavier, it's that metallic, and it's going to kind of go back over top of the color that I'm adding. Mm -hmm. But we're going to give it a, one more hefty shot, okay? A touch of pearl. Hopefully it'll break up some of that silver. It's a metallic on top of a metallic. But I'm hoping it'll bust it up a little bit. And if it doesn't, my ball is stuck again. 
um, we'll go from there, okay? We're just trying to bust up some of this silver, guys. That's all I'm doing. Give it a little touch more heat, not much, because I've already kind of heated this cup a good bit, and it's already probably in the process of doing its little chemical reaction. But we'll see if we can get a little more silver, to, I mean, a little more pink to swirl in here. And once it starts to look a little, maybe a little better, we'll stop, okay? All right. Just give me a few more seconds. Let me see what I can do with this. And if we can't, I'm still going to add the glitter. I want to show you that the glitter may change this cup entirely. We'll see what happens. Just keep watching. We'll give it a minute more with some heat. Spin it out. See if we can get this purple to spread. This right here is the pearl, but it's super, super dry. I don't think we're going to get much more out of this cup than what you see. You could keep playing with it and keep adding inks, but it's going to start to get muddy. So what I'm going to do while it's hot, I'm going to let it spin a minute. Can you see it moving, the rotation? I'm going to give it a minute. We're going to add the glitter to it. See if it changes it, okay? It may turn out that I absolutely love this cup before it's over. This is the gold and black. I actually love the way that turned out. I don't know if you can see it as wonderfully as I can. Let me put some light on it. It's very, very pretty. Um, manly. It would it would go for manly. Mm -hmm. um, and he that's what he requested, okay? So I'm going to bring y'all back to me so I can see if you have any questions. Y'all hold on. Close your eyes. Bringing you back to earth with me, okay? I want to get you back on this cup the best I can. All right. Sorry for all this. When I figure out the best way, I guess two cups wasn't a great idea. What do you think? But I wanted to give you an idea and let y'all really see a couple, okay? The gold and black one did turn out really nice. I'm really happy with that one. This pink one is a hot mess. Hot mess. But you know what? You're going to have that. I know why I did it. Because I added the silver and the silver mixative. But... I tried. I wanted to show y'all. You got to be careful. You got to be careful, okay? Sometimes you just got to play. So this is my embossing powder, the glitter embossing powder mixed with epoxy. It's starting to get a little thicker. The cup is still warm. So I'm going to start just drizzling this epoxy on here, okay? There's no rhyme or reason as to where I'm going to put it. I do, for some reason, like to go diagonal. Don't know why. I think it takes away from the horizontal striping you get with alcohol inks unless you let it sit. And this may totally, this is a pink, it's called Pink Vintage, and I will post this in comments. So I'm hoping with this pink, it'll bring out some more of this cup and get rid of some of that silver that attacks your eye. Um, I hope. We'll see what happens. And like I said, guys, I don't claim to be perfect. I don't like using a whole lot of metallics, but somebody had sent me a message about metallics and said they were having a really hard time. They were having dry spots, and um, and you can get that with metallics because they're so heat sensitive. So I'm putting on a lot of glitter, you're going to see. I've got a huge spot of silver. I'm not crazy about this cup where I put mm -hmm. the glitter here. The silver's trying to eat it. I'm not crazy about it. I'm going to be honest with you. Would I sell this cup to a customer? Nope. Nope. But I'm going to keep playing. I got all this mixed up. I might as well play. Might as well let y'all see. And they're right. You don't want you, you just play sometimes, guys. Okay? You just got to play sometimes. You're not going to know what you like unless you experiment. Mm -hmm. I actually have one cup that I keep over here in the corner that I stripped the other day and repainted white, that's my play cup. If I have something in mind that I want to do for somebody or they've asked me to do something and I'm not sure about it because it's something different, um, I'll play with that cup and, and strip it over and over and over again. Now, I'm going to show you something. I had a whole line of silver glitter, or the pink glitter right here, and, the, and it ate it all right here. See it? I could add more heat to it. This cup is just a hot mess. Soft. It's a hot mess. But we played. We had fun. I tried to fix it. I thought the glitter would fix it. It would be pretty if I didn't have so much silver in it. 
it would okay um but it is a hot mess i'm i'm almost embarrassed matches my lips <laughs> but i wanted you to see i'm not perfect i make mistakes this cup will probably be stripped i just just too much silver if i put any more ink on it it's just going it's continuing to roll right here i don't know if you can see this big clump it's just and this turner does not reverse so i can't reverse it and get it to spin a different way um, these other turners i can this one i can take and spin it this way so if i have an issue i can um just kind of change direction on it i don't like the pink one sorry sorry it turned out to be a mess but at least you can see kind of what it um what different inks look like you saw the bria reese you saw the pinata you saw the mixative you saw the pearl you got to see that you got to see a little trick with some embossing powder you may not have experienced okay but at least you've got to see something different and um i hope you'll join me next time i'm kind of looking through your comments now if i missed your question i promise i go back and read every question when i'm done just to see if i can answer those for you or get you an answer and i will include all of the things that we used in this tutorial at the top i'll send you a picture of this what it looks like i might play with it a minute more i might just sprinkle glitter all over i don't know what i'll do when i get off camera but i love y'all i hope y'all have a great evening happy memorial day shake a veteran's hand and tell them you appreciate their service we have several in our family bye